Hello, I'm a metaphysician and a Neoplatonic Platonist. I'd like to talk to you about something you will not read about or see a video on anywhere. It's the lost secret of the Pythagoreans, as found in Plato's Republic 509D to 511. This is the incommensurability of Pythagoras, for which Hippasus was murdered and thrown out to sea for so long ago. What is incommensurability, i.e. the basis of the quote-unquote religion, or specifically the metaphysics of the Pythagoreans that's so important and the basis of everything that we're starting to understand today? And of course, we today call it profanely sacred geometry, but it refers to as the ontology or the non-empirical metaphysics which underlies everything that we see within the phenomenal world. And why were the Pythagoreans and Plato and all the Neoplatonists so interested in numbers? They were not interested in it for the sake of the golden section itself, as we see things in beauty and the ratios in nature. Let's take a look at Plato's Republic 509D to 511 and take a look at Plato's divided line. We take the divided line of Plato, we divide it in the even and mean ratio once, then we divide each section again, what we end up with is 5, 1, 1, and 1 over 5. Professor Scott Olson of Ocala, Florida made this discovery many years ago. However, this is only about 2 or 3 percent of the discovery. I've been working on this and published an article about it back in 2005 and have about 300 some pages plus written on this discovery. And I have every book ever written on the Pythagoreans, the Neoplatonists, and their number ontology. I'm not talking about numerology or anything related to paganism. We're talking about Hellenic rationalism, the actual metaphysics and science of Numenius, Proclus, Plotinus, Numenius, Albinus, Plato, specifically Pythagoras, and who knows before him, of which we don't have a recorded history. What is a divided line taken in whole? This proof was made by Scott Olson many years ago. Phi, one, one, and one over phi of Plato's divided line. Taken in totality, this equals phi cubed, or 4.23606. And what is phi cubed? Oddly enough, unbelievable as it is, and I can't squeeze it into a tiny little YouTube video here, but the Pythagoreans, and who knows before him, discovered the grand unified theory of totality. The divided line represents the totality, the phenomenal, and the noetic cosmos, the cosmos ethos and the cosmos noetos. Everything we see, both empirical and noumenal. We end up with 1 over 5 to negative 3, which is 0.23606. 1 divided by 5 to negative 3 equals 5 cubed which equals the totality of the divided line. What does this form the basis of, and why is it important? Why is the incommensurability of the specific line important, and why is this just not dry, boring math? What does this have to do with the golden ratio and the divided section? What? It forms an isosceles triangle. I'm breaking a chalk there. The degrees 108, 36, and 36. Well, why is this important? What does this have to do with anything? This is the basis of the Pythagorean pentagram. It's the triple pentagram of the Pythagoreans. Nobody's discovered this until now, that Plato's divided line in its totality, base of phi, sloping angles of one and one, the special isosceles triangle, which forms the entire basis, entire metaphysics of Platonism and Pythagoreanism is this special isosceles triangle, whose vertical, I'll tell you why this is slanted later, not directly to the midpoint, but slanted, one over, fly, one over phi is the vertical. This is the triple isosceles triangle of the pentagram. Of course, we refer to pentagram or the pentalpha, meaning five, but it refers to the three triangles which intersect, which forms the basis of Pythagorean monism. One, one, two, three, five, eight, etc., etc., which forms a Fibonacci sequence. This is the monad, this is the Aristos dias, or the nous, as Plotinus calls it in 5.4.2. Then we have chaos. And then we have hyle, matter. And then we have being, or on. So we have monad, nous, Chaos, Hyle, and On, or as I've called it with five M's, Monad, Mind, Magnitude, Matter, and Man, i.e. Being, or On. Why is this important? What does it form? This is the logarithmic spiral, the golden section. Everything to do with the Alpha and the Omega of all Pythagoreanism. Um, as published in an article by me back in 2005, 
called Pythagoras, Plato, and the Golden Ratio, ISBN number 0-901-2541-5-X. If you take a look... We have the logarithmic spiral. I will tell you why in another video why it doesn't intersect with 1 over 5 over here. Basically the reason is that this is chaos and Heil, i.e. space and matter, and this refers to the monad and the nous. This is the Aristos Dios of the Pythagoreans. Why is this important? Why does this form the basis of all Pythagoreanism? Why has nobody understood until I published and made the discovery in 2005 that the 115 triangle is the basis of all Pythagorean science, metaphysics, and explanation for the totality of everything, both existentially and as regards to metaphysics, regarding the soul. The psyche to pantos, the cosmos novitos, what does this have to do with a vertical of 1 over 5? Remember, each one of these, 1, 1, 5, and 1 over 5, forms the basis of Plato's divided line, which is 5, 1, 1, this is the midpoint, excuse me, 5, 1, 1, and 1 over 5. All of this summed up in the simplex equation of 1 over 5 to the power of negative 3. This is the totality of everything in Plato's divided line, which is phi cubed. Phi, 1, 1, and 1 over phi is phi cubed, which is equal to 1 over phi to the power of negative 3. Phi is the 1 as 1 is the phi. This is a mathematical certainty. It doesn't have to be proven by me. This was proven a long time ago. Um, this would literally take about 30 videos to get into all the details and the proofs and the elaborations to why this is so important. But basically everything that the pagans and the Christians, as far as their nonsensical trinity, have hijacked, especially the pentagram by the pagans and the rest of the occultists and the, the shadier people that uh, have hijacked the pentagram, of course we know that this is the Pythagorean pentagram, the Pythagorean pentacle, which is this special isosceles triangle of 108, 36, and 36. 1, 1, and 5, with a vertical of 1 over 5. In future videos, I'll talk about why this is important and what this has to do with the golden section. Phi is, of course, not about the phenomenon, but is about the ontology, the metaphysics, the only thing that Plato was interested in. We abducted of course, Scott Olson uh, wrote a rather large paper about abduction, literally working back, trying to figure out through the existential universe, as above, so below, therefore we're able to deduce about the absolute. Of course, the Christians in their insane stupidity have tried to project this as meaning that the golden section is somehow proof of God. Actually, Plato and Plotinus specifically, specifically deny that the absolute, or the monad, is a being. Of course, that is irrational, is completely against Hellenic rationalism, and is specifically against what Plotinus elaborated in great detail about. And, uh, of course, Plato did not believe that the monad was being. Of course, all creationism is a pure stupidity. Um, why the golden section, and why the specific triangle is proof of the incommensurability of what the Pythagoreans were so interested in, why Hippasus was killed for making uh, this elaboration and uh, spreading out uh, the uh, quote-unquote secret of the Pythagoreans. In a future video we'll talk about specific details about the you know, Fibonacci sequence, such as 1-1, one, one. this is the trinity, 1-1, one, one. remember the monad, the mind, 2-3, and three. this is the second, and this is the third. This is the actual Pythagorean trinity, the monad, the nous, the chaos, the chayel, and the on. Monad, mind, magnitude, matter, and man. Magnitude, matter, and all platonic metaphysics, of course, is one thing. The aoristos, dias, the monad, and the nous is, of course, one. That is principle and attribute. Of course, the conservation of the pure metaphysics of all monism, be it Advaita Vedanta or Pythagorean monism, and specifically what Plato and Plotinus talks about specifically, there cannot be other than the one. So if the one is this, then what is this? Well, it's very simple. This is principle and attribute. Both are one. This is the proof against creationism. This is the proof against nihilism or atheism or materialism. 
and a genuine affirmation of what the greatest minds who have ever walked the face of this earth, Pythagoras, Plato, Plotinus, have all said, is wrapped up in the incommensurability of this specific isosceles triangle and what it has to do with the incommensurability of everything we see in nature and what this has to do with the metaphysics and the ontology of being or the pre-existence of genuine being, i.e. the soul, and how the Platonists and the Pythagoreans abducted, were able to deduce the nature of the Absolute and how all things work together to form a union, the Harmonia. I mean, I can go on and on and make 30, 40 videos about this and I still wouldn't even scratch the surface. But this is a discovery that I made back in 2005 and uh, I'll talk about it further in future videos. I hope you find this interesting. And excuse me for my uh, bad penmanship with the chalk here.